Hi friends, so today I am doing a voiceover because <laughs> I could not make up my mind what to do for my January setup in my cousin. Um, first thing I did is I took off the um, Christmas dashboard that I had there. And then after that, I looked through the other um, things that I have for an eternity. So I'm gonna skip that part and kind of um, show you once I actually decided what to do. Okay, so I finally decided on using this really pretty dashboard in vellum and I apologize, the shop is no longer um, in business, but um, I will say I had the most trouble deciding which cover to use, but I ended up uh, selecting the Hobonichi Cousin cover right there, the gray one with the flowers. And um, I'm just kind of collecting all the dashboards and vellum that I have in that same pattern and then I'm going to put them in my planner. Oh my goodness, thank goodness for editing because after an eternity, I selected this dashboard and vellum for the front and then I kind of adhered it with some blue grid washi tape. Okay, so next what I'm doing is I have another dashboard that's kind of there in the middle where it says turning, what does it say? Turn the page to a new year. So I wanted to put something different here. I was thinking about doing a vision board, but I'm not feeling it this uh, year. So what I'm going to do instead is tip in some vellum, tip in a dashboard, and then actually um, glue in a dashboard on the left side. Okay, so kind of same thing here. I love that breathe vellum. So I ended up um, cutting it down where I could just um, put it in permanently in the planner because I think it'll get less wear and tear that way than having it just tipped in all the time. And then I did tip in a separate vellum over it, um, which kind of has like the blue snowflake look that matches all the other um, dashboards and vellums that I chose for January.
Okay y'all, so here is a quick flip of how it all ended up. I really love the front cover. I have that tape on the front because it holds it in place and it covers the little holes from where I used to keep it in my A5. I am putting this little New Year's Eve card in the front. Um, and if this gives you any indication of why I edited this video so heavily, um, I just couldn't even decide if I wanted that card in the front. Anyway, I have the two vellums overlapping here and I just think that's really pretty. And I would rather do that than decals. Um, I know a lot of people put decals on their covers. Um, this page here, I don't plan to do anything with because I prefer to it. I see people doing some really cute things there, but not me. Um, here's an overview of my perpetual calendar. And I just use some different seasonal washies um, and I plan to track their birthdays, paydays, days my kids are out of school, uh, things like that. Um, and then we go here to the monthly section. Um, I am going to start using the Sweet Kawaii Designs monthly subscription kits to set up my monthly. Um, but of course I didn't do that for the other months because I just started getting the subscription, but I think it's so cute and I'll do that going forward. Then here's where I started the weeks cause I moved in early. So I've been filling this out diligently on the weeks and the days ever since, um, the week of October 8th and I'm just loving it. I have no desire to get a different catch all planner. And I'm really excited um, how this page here in the middle, kind of the vision board part turned out. I love the saying there and it's neutral enough for me to keep it there year round and just change out the dashboard and vellum that are to the right. And I absolutely love this design. I'm so sad that that shop is no longer open. Um, then it starts in January. Um, I've already got my tabs on because as I said, I moved in early in October so my tabs are already on um, but I have been really good about filling this out I'm just doing like a quick little flip so right now I still put vellums in between each month but as you can see here in February, I'm gonna start using those really big stickers that come in the Sweet Kawaii Designs monthly kits instead for a while. I may change my mind later in the year, but I just think they're so cute and I think it um, still shows that you're coming up on a new month. Um, these are some of my before the pin spreads that I am finishing up here for the year. And I hope that y'all have enjoyed um, seeing what I did in this planner. Um, thank you so much for being a subscriber this year. If you're not a subscriber yet, I would love for you to subscribe and join our community. Um, I've just really loved having my YouTube channel during 2022. And I thank you all for joining me and planning along with me. All your encouraging comments and how um, a lot of us as creators support each other here on YouTube is just so special to me. Um, so thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that y'all will all have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.